So assignment two, that you already have online since a few weeks, a few days, sorry, uh, is about task. And of course, it's about storyboard, because storyboards are all about task. And it's about paper prototypes. And notice the plural. So what you need to do in assignment two is, first of all, task and storyboard. Define three tasks for your solution. One simple task, one medium task, and one complex task, as we did in the exercise last week. And then create one storyboard that cover at least two of the task. So one single storyboard should tell a story that cover at least two of the task. Three is fine. One task is not fine, at least two. The storyboard must be a traditional one. Four to eight panels, sketches, uh, that fit on one A4 paper. So it shouldn't be very, very long. Um, try to stay in one sheet of paper and, and use a black thick pen to draw the storyboard. And also the storyboard needs to be done by hand without any computer, without any icons, just everything drawn by hand. Uh, if you don't want to draw on a paper, you can draw, and, you and if you have it, you can draw on a tablet with its pen, with its pencil, but still and drawn storyboard without using any particular software, icons, predefined material. Everything must be done and made. Three tasks, one storyboard to cover at least two of the three tasks. And ideally, Wednesday, the first lab, you should focus on this part, the three tasks and the storyboard. Then, if I can go to the back of the page, to the end of the page without triggering a new page, uh, you will need to make two paper prototypes. Uh, that is step two. Step one say, brainstorm different ways to realize your solution. And this different way will then be concrete as two paper prototype. Hmm? So think about at least two different modalities for realizing the goal of your solution, exemplified in the storyboard and implemented in the three task. Hmm? Which is modality. Modality is either a way of interacting with a specific device type um, or a way of interacting. And write down the two modalities you select and why you select them. So for instance, one modality could be a mobile application touch screen. So traditional. Another modality could be a mobile application in augmented reality. That's two modalities. Same device, two different interaction modalities. Or one could be a desktop application and the other one with mouse. And the other one could be a mobile application with touch. These are two modalities. But you need to explore two modalities that make sense for your solution, for your specific domain, and for the three tasks you have defined just before. Hmm? And it doesn't matter which is the device that people show, see in the storyboard, because the storyboard is all about tasks and about people, not about devices. So once you decide which are these two different modalities, you have to realize one paper prototype per modalities. And if you are a group of four people, the suggestion is that two of you will work on one prototype and the other two will work on the other prototype and the two subgroups don't talk to each other so that there is no influence on how the pages are laid out, which are the content of the page, which is the interaction, for moving the navigation, for moving to one page to the other, etc. Mm? If you are in four, that's easy. Two people, prototype one, other two people, prototype two, and they don't talk until the end of the realization of the prototype. They talk before for the task, for the storyboard, and for the different type. 
uh, the different modality, but from that moment on, they don't talk. And also proper prototype uh, should be hand-drawn without predefined materials, etc. And also similarly to the, uh, to the previous case, you can use a tablet and a pencil to draw them if you want. But in the end, you will need them on paper. So you will need at a certain point the paper prototypes on paper, physically on papers. Uh, paper prototypes must be in black and white. And then, uh, here it says that the realized prototype should be complete enough for allowing teacher to understand the essence of your application and to guide an hypothetical new user through each of your three tasks. Uh, and the prototype can contain entire screen, uh, cut out, so sm small piece of paper to overlap to this big screen, etc. And small details are not important. For instance, the copyright policy page, not something to do. The login page, if not needed, not something to do. And all of this is not needed to be included. Focus on the three tasks and your solution, not on the necessarily but not useful pages in this moment. And the interface should enable your target user to navigate, recover from error, change their mind, as in the design principle we have seen. And ideally, a developer, different from you, should be able to use your prototype to create the user interface of a functional application, ideally. So it should be clear enough and readable enough. Uh, after making the two prototypes, the test asks you for two high-level flow diagram. That's basically one flow diagram for prototype, and essentially is this page of the paper prototype brings to this other page of the paper prototype. Something similar to the map we have seen before, and here it's, it's explained what it is. But this is different from the paper prototype. You will have the paper prototypes, and then you will have the diagrams representing the flow between the paper prototypes and then the last thing is it asks you to set up the prototype for the heuristic evaluation that is assignment three uh, that essentially mean be sure to have all the pieces of paper to make the prototype work if you want to try it all the three tasks be sure to have all the pieces of paper that are needed to complete the work for the entire prototype uh, so that the evaluator can use it to fully complete the three tasks that you defined. Hmm? So the big work is the three tasks, the storyboard, the definition of modalities, and the two paper prototypes. Uh, the navigation flow is something you will, we, you will know in creating the prototypes, and the setup is just to be sure that you have all the pieces printed or drawn or photocopied for the uh, evaluation. These will uh, be, uh, receive a feedback as assignment one. And so by the deadline in the uh, created folder, that's called A2, in your assigned GitHub repository, the same of last time, and put in a set of slides these things here. Hmm? That is basically the work you, you have done. And finally, Um, as for, well, as for the first assignment, mm, there are also in this case grading criteria that we will use at the exam, uh, not now, not for the feedback, with the relative uh, weight of each part. So task accounts for 20% of the score of this assignment and say the task should be complete and communicate the goal of the target user and the simple moderate complex tasks are labeled appropriately the storyboard is 15 percent there is motivation there is no ui within the storyboard the modality exploration is 10 percent the paper prototype both are 50 percent of the score clearly it's the um, the most significant part and this 50 percent includes the high, the high level flow of the pages uh, across the prototype because it's actually arrows that links one page to 
another. Uh, and paper prototype should have a full connection to the task and the, the storyboard, and it should reflect the adopted modality, uh, the two modalities you selected. Okay, so this is uh, assignment two. Ideally, and I will repeat this tomorrow, uh, week one should be, so this, this assignment will last two weeks, deadline is November 5. Uh, so on Wednesday, ideally you should come up and discuss with us about the three tasks and the storyboard. And the second mm, week is instead dedicated in getting some feedback and direction about the paper prototypes. Uh, ideally, you should be, you should try for the second week to do some paper prototype outside of the Wednesday lab, before the Wednesday lab, so that on Wednesday you don't start from a empty piece of paper, but you already have something to discuss with the teacher of your lab slot. Okay, but this is next week. This week, task and storyboard. Mm, that is something you can do. Uh, in class. With this, have a good evening and see you tomorrow.